914, there, Pinsevic, better known as Tanapolskaya, perhaps to you. 23 now, former European junior champion, as so many of these uh, European athletes are. So many all over world junior champions prior to making their senior teams. But none has made more of an impression than Gwen Torrance. Second in the world championships over 100 and 200 meters back in 1991. Olympic 200 meter champion from Atlanta. 793, that's Natalia Voronova. Varona, she was sixth uh, back in Seoul in 1988, so she's been around sixth last time as well. That's a personal best, 10.82 for Gwen Torrance. Tarnopolskaya, the Pintasevic now. 10.99 holds the national record of the Ukraine. Kum of France. Third in the French Championships, over 100 metres and 200 metres. Georgieva, incidentally, the Bulgarian, in the second lane. She was eighth in the European final in Helsinki last season. And MacDonald of Jamaica, another semi-finalist. Her best performance, really, was the semi-final of the World Championships in Tokyo in 1991. In the all-green strip on the right, let me just remind you, four through to the semi-final. MacDonald, Georgieva, Onyali, Voronova, Torrance, Mitsevevich, Kum and Becker. there wavered on the block and we've got another situation here where that may well because of the sensitivity of the equipment be adjudged a false start we'll see whether they put the marker up on the box of uh, Torrance let's just have a look and see what happens here there's been so many problems over the course of the day she does flinch look in the center and that puts the pressure on the block and that will signal to the starter that she's gone and really she hasn't McDonald Georgieva on Yali Voronova, Torrance, Vintasevich, Kuhn and Becker, the German, second in the German Championships, just off your shot. She's in the eighth lane. First four through to the semi-final. When Torrance last to settle. Can't see a marker on the box at all there, so that must have gone down as a faulty. Call full start again, and the well, you can see the look on Yali. She just flapped her hands coming out of the blocks there so often. And this really is one of the most difficult days I've seen in international track and field over the last 21 years. Uh, the athletes being put under unbelievable pressure. It's not the sort of pressure one would want at all. On Yali, there, the African uh, record holder at 100 and 200 meters, fifth in the 100 meters uh, last time in Stuttgart. So. Uh, She's very useful, best of 10.97 last season. So McDonald, Georgieva, Onyali, Voronova, Voronova, let's get that right, Torrance, Vintasevich, Kuhn and Becker. Well, I still can't see a yellow marker up there. for the third time they settle and this is a real test of mental strength well the starters marksman not happy Pintasevich's fingers on the line and they should be just behind the line, that's uh, clear. But once again, more pressure for these athletes. And once you get to the start, you build up a, a peak of concentration. And then, once the gun goes, you explode into the race. But this is uh, asking an awful lot. 
McDonald, Georgieva, Onyali, Veronova, Torrance, Pintasevich, Coombe and Becker then. The second heat, second round of a very testing women's 100 meters. Georgieva, the last to settle this time, and now Pintasevich. All of them taking one last look down that uh, long straight. Boronova. this time and Torrance got away well so did Pintasevich in the centre and also uh, Marianne Yali and Rod on the inside McDonald going well but here comes uh, Gwen Torrance taking Pintasevich with her with on Yali and uh, Yali and McDonald probably the two qualifiers to go through with them at the time 11.10 and once you got into a running well Torrance looked very strong one would expect that uh, we'll have a look at the start yeah, I mean, the pressure that these girls must have been under under, under the start here with four, four full starts, just trying to keep that concentration. But Gwen seems to have, you know, talked herself, herself through it and uh, looking very strong in this last half of the race. She's going to be really looking to try and get the double. She's the girl that's been in shape coming into these championships. And I think she's showing it here because even the last 20 metres, she's starting to really ease down and she ends up with a time of 11.10. Very good. Onyali and McDonald confirmed as the other two qualifiers to go through to the semi-final. 